a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, Mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss bitch, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad, no, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know know when to be quiet. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Welcome to the S-Banks and the JD Network podcast. I'm your host, S-Banks, and I'm joined with my co-host, JD. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Cam Newton. Newington? Cam Newton. Newton. <laughs> Cam Newton's comments, are they controversial? Now, <laughs> it's up for debate. It's up for debate. It is. But, I, we have the, we have the, we, like, obviously, people who don't know what we're talking about, we've got two clips for you today. One of them is um, Cam Newton's comments about where he's at with the kind of women that he wants, how he grew up, his situation. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to provide you with the context by playing the video. And then we're going to play you another clip after. I don't know if you want to say anything, but I think we should play the video first and then kind of go in. in. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. You can say if you want to. No, you that's, I'm fine with that. All right, cool. With that being said, Let's play this clip and let's see if his comments are actually controversial. So without further delay, here's that clip. I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm-hmm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches, and I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but – just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm-hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm-hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad, no, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know you don't know when to be quiet. You don't know how to allow a man to lead. Um, first of all, Cam, we were rooting for you. We were all root I watched that Super Bowl where you how much did they pay you to throw that game, Cam? Since I got you on the line, how much did they pay you to fumble that ball repeatedly and cause the Panthers to lose? And you and your little SpongeBob square headed ass friend over there making these podcast appearances to talk shit about black women. You can't even lead your team to victory and got the nerve to tell black women what to do. Oh, you in your trifling, ugly ass fashions need to sit all the way the fuck down, Cameron. Okay. That was a clip, right? There's a lot to unpack. Um, Was what he said controversial, in my opinion? No. Mm -hmm. If I'm just being blunt, right? Mm -hmm. One of my notes is this. Why is it a woman being submissive or feminine? This is her true nature. This is who... All women. This is how a woman is supposed to be. It's Mm -hmm. in her nature. Why is that up? A debate if a man is saying this is what his preference are he's therefore said okay i've got a model of how a relationship works how a man is supposed to be mm-hmm. how a woman is supposed to be he's grew up in a free parent household and he's saying i don't want know how to close your mouth women say that they're a bad b but can't cook because if i said i was a g but then i was living with my mom or I was living on someone's sofa. I wouldn't be a G. So he's just stating the obvious. Mm -hmm. Why is it up for controversy (laughs) in regards of what he said 
and say some people don't agree. That's his preference. Mm-hmm. Is it not okay for a man to have a preference? It is okay. I, I just want to start with that. It is okay for a man to have a preference. The same way it's okay for a woman to have a preference. Mm. The part I don't understand is why women, because I never hear this from men, women okay. have a problem with men having a preference. And I'm not going to say all men. I'm going to say black men. They usually have a problem with black men having a preference. So anything black men say, they have a problem with it. If it's something, okay, in my opinion, okay. what he said wasn't a problem it wasn't an issue it didn't um it didn't it didn't you. trigger me it didn't bother me it was like okay does this kind of bother certain kinds of women well like the woman in the clip it clearly bothered her mm. so i'm gonna say it clearly bothers women like her when okay my next note i have is this preference right mm-hmm. so It's okay when a woman says the kind of man that she wants. Tall, dark, handsome, six feet tall, six figures. We know the we know the list. We hear all day, every day, right? Mm -hmm. But then when a man has his preference, he's shamed. If he said that I want a slim chick and chicks are overweight nowadays, then you got bigger women saying, Hey, we try and say Mm -hmm. we ain't good enough. And he said, This is my preference. It's not about being good enough or not. You're not that's something that I want. Mm But then you got chicks that are big mm-hmm. saying that, oh, I want a guy with a six pack. <laughs> See, the thing is, when men say I have a preference or yeah. I want a slim thing or I want a petite woman or mm. I want a slim, thick woman, or however you want to, however you want to describe mm. the woman. No one is saying that a woman that is bigger is not pretty or not a nice person or not. But, she's, you know? but the thing is, this, she's allowed to have her preferences, even if they are delusional, mm-hmm. without anyone saying, oh, no, yeah. there's no backlash to it. That's what the problem didn't, is. Didn't they, um, let's say the millennials or the younger people, mm-hmm. didn't they try to cancel the Destiny Child tune? Yes, cater to cater you. Cater to you. Wow. Crazy. And wait until you guys see one of the, one of the podcasts coming up about wait, this. Was it the millennials? Let's just say, okay. I'm going to say women. Okay. People put in the comments, correct me who did it, right? <laughs> but I'm going to say this. Women mm-hmm. were trying to cancel uh-huh. Destiny's Child cater to you. Crazy, right? Because it's it's stating how they should look after their men. Not no, any man. They is stating that women are a slave. Wow. Where they, so, slave. so they won't cook food for men, but where they draw the line at. So they have babies? <laughs> But they won't cook food for their men. Well, that's where they draw the line. <sighs> I'm just saying. To me, that's ridiculous. To uh. put it nicely. Um, you'd rather open the legs. Yeah. Let a man enter your womb. Mm. Some get pregnant. And that's fine. But mm. you don't want to give a man a drink or food or cook him food he can get himself and why is it always <laughs> a thing of cooking him directly food what if mm. you're just making food for the household so say you even live by yourself you're making food right mm. the guy's there give him some food are, are those women getting the outcomes that they want based on their behavior and the things that they say because this is controversial i can't believe this that's a very good question and i'm gonna say majority of the time is no okay 99.9 yeah. percent no mm. some may slip through the grapevine and find somebody but Few it's not usually someone that they really want it's just someone that they're settling with mm. what's some of your thoughts on this <laughs> well um yes yeah, so like we said why do some women get triggered by what black men say? Now, with so, this, so, so this is a black thing. Um, because I, I, I think many black women were triggered. Yeah, I don't mm. think it's a multicultural. We can generalize thing. it, but mm-hmm. it, it was clearly 
the 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 lady in the last clip and that's just why did i even call the hyena in the last clip she so, was um attacking his dress code mm -hmm. how he looks whatever and the guy was just something about a square head or some crap i can't remember what she said spongebob square pants or something okay, like that but then what has that got to do with what he said See, that sign language don't work on us this is where i have the issue as well yeah now cam was stating his personal experiences yeah. of how he grew up <laughs> of how he sees women to yeah. be yeah. or how women should act and mm. how women should present themselves or whatever his say that's what his thoughts that's how he feels mm -hmm. that's the sort of woman he wants there's nothing wrong with that but then why he wasn't attacking any woman or any black woman mm -hmm. and saying oh this and oh that or whatever yeah. she was, was attacking yeah. him she, so you're attacking about him black women personally and saying oh you can't dress or you can't or yada yada or whatever she said right you're mm -hmm. attacking a person personally he's saying this is what i like and he gave an example in the sense of some women they can't cook they but, say but, i'm a bad bitch okay, but how can you but, bad how can you be a bad beat and you can't cook you might look good but you can't cook cooking is one of the basics that you should know how to do for your own survival so let's take men out of it for a second yeah. for your own survival you should be you should know how to how to cook now understand that in um 2022 mm -hmm. they do a lot of ready meals and certain things you know just eat and whatever else right you can get food very quickly but say if that was to stop abruptly for some reason how are you gonna manage yeah you can't cook yeah. and isn't that a skill that you'd want to know though as, a, as a female if they can't cook what have they taught their daughters not to cook you can add some of your points to be catered uh, to just, i guess okay okay when they're being catered to any man of any of a good substance rational can be an average man he's not putting up with that kind of behavior a woman that okay to be submissive you have to be in your feminine mm -hmm. any woman that finds that controversial is generally in her masculine right and then the kind of men that they go for is um let's call it the fix me up a guy right and one of my notes is this some women don't know how to build with a man and they build a man up there's a difference between the two now if i meet a chick and i've got a hard grind i'm not rich yet i'm i'm doing my thing i'm in the making i'm in the process of doing what i need to do and she is a good help me she supports me let's say okay let's say she makes more money than me and then we say okay here's the agreement you're going to pay the bills or you're going to pay such portion of the bills i'm going to work on the business after a while i'm going to need you to come work for me mm -hmm. you helping me so if you got a degree, which women like to put in your face all the time, I got a degree, I'm a PhD, they're all kind of college degree girl, right? Master's girl, right? What's the point in you having all of those things if that don't benefit me or you? What's the point in you being a six figure girl if that money don't benefit me? And not like I can spend it. So if you're helping me, following my lead, being submissive and submission is not slavery. So let's just say in the ideal world, you're doing what you need to do to support me. So what works in my interest works in our interest so we can build. If you're doing that, mm -hmm. generally those men stay. Mm -hmm. Even when, when, when they make it, they generally stay. But the women, what they do is most women, they find a guy that they can build up. A guy that has no ambition, low level build a bear yeah they go for those kind of low vibrational dudes mm -hmm. low emotional iq low iq total mm -hmm. so when he let when you level him up then he leaves you complain and say oh you see what i'm saying about men because you didn't want to put the work in for a guy that's doing his thing mm -hmm. because they're a bad apple picker true true that's why what else do you think um my question mm. to the audience and also to you as well is do black women have contempt for black men 
Damn right they do. Now <laughs> I ask that also because of the woman in the clip's reaction to what Cam said. It was for me, it was very extreme for what he said because for me, like I said, everyone's different. Everyone has their own thoughts. But for me, he didn't say anything out of hand. He didn't call anyone out of their name. He didn't. But she called him out his name. Yeah, he, she said all sorts was of you, things. Okay, was you shocked? What she's, the way she spoke, mm -hmm. the way she used sign language, mm -hmm. the way she did what she did. Mm -hmm. Was you shocked? No. Because you see, see it, all, it the all the time. So... In my opinion, do black women have contempt for black men? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not all, but it's about the society, the culture. And for me, I'll say this. The baby boomers, generation what? X. Yeah. They effed you over. Mm -hmm. Feminism, capitalism, effed you lot up. They mark it. Follow, follow where the money trail goes. Mm -hmm. You see where it lands. It is what it is. So I'm gonna sell on that's what I'm gonna sell in this podcast. Mm -hmm. But you can add some more. We're gonna play the next clip and then we're gonna chop up the rest of this thing with you guys. I have one more thing, and mm -hmm. that is why do so this is another question. Mm -hmm. This is to the audience and also to you as well. Why do you think modern women call themselves bad bitches? It's the culture. It's the culture. Why all cold tyrons? So <laughs> they the powers that be, like I was just saying before. So then they affect the biology, then the culture, then the environment. That's bio cotyrons, right? And if you follow where the money goes, then you can kind of see where it's at. What they do, what they do based on feminism, like when, okay, black women took on white women problems. Mm -hmm. Our problems weren't their problems. No. So then, and that was due to feminism, right? Yeah. So then, the baby boomers mm -hmm. effed us up from that situation. The offspring of the baby boomers are who? Generation X. Exactly. So then, the millennials now are turning forty. Mm -hmm. So then, now they're seeing because they 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 follow what this black woman was saying in the last part of that clip. They follow her and mm -hmm. they go, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm, sis, queen, this. I'm a ba I'm a boss b. Yada yada. Now they're realizing. That mentality hasn't kept men. Nope. Which man wants to be with a masculine chick? A heterosexual man anyway. So a man that, that that's going to sleep on your sofa. Yeah, you can boss him around. But any man in his right mind ain't going to take that kind of behavior. No. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> what else do you want to add? <laughs> Don't forget to like, share and comment. Mm -hmm. And definitely subscribe and press that notification bell mm. to always get our content. It's true, man. I don't know if you want to touch on any more of this, but I don't think it's controversial. What do no, you think? I don't. Um, like I said before, everyone has their own opinion. Mm. That's totally fine. Yeah. Um, I personally don't think he said anything wrong. That's how his, he grew up. Mm. That's what he, he sees women to be women is his mother and how his yeah. grandmother is and for him i guess the women of today aren't that so <laughs> they're bad bees mm -hmm. so yeah they're not, they're not bad bees in a good way so final thing i want to say on this i'm going to say my not but let me before i say that don't forget to like share and subscribe remember man it's just a conversation this is some of our thoughts on it Personally, I don't think it's controversial. I think it's down to the preference. And even if it wasn't my preference, I don't think he said anything bad to why she would, um, the girl and the woman, Go the woman in the her. clip. Mm -hmm. And also women that reacted to that, commented on that. The, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. But in saying that, let me say this. One of my notes is this. How do we fix this mm -hmm. now? The swirler women say going with a white man is better. You got um, that woman in America um, where she's going to be Supreme Court judge. Mm -hmm. Then you got the Meghan and Harry. Mm -hmm. They say going with a white man is better. Now, 
some people on this side argue if black women treated black men the way they speak and treat white men or their bosses we would be all right mm -hmm. i definitely agree so is the answer interracial dating for who for both because swirlers say the grass is greener playing with white men uh <laughs> see my views is different yeah. there um for me mm. okay you can be a swirler you can <laughs> do as you please but mm. why is a different race of man different to another race of man i know there's I, differences I'm, I'm just i'm just saying what the swirlers say yeah so i've heard some things that swirlers have said mm -hmm. and to me it just sounds like it's just a different color so are you saying okay i agree with you but are you saying when it comes okay let's speak with the women for a second so when it comes to women and swirler women say playing with a white man is mm -hmm. better he brings a lot more to the table it's all good on their part but i think black men men in general they say if black men particularly go to other races mm -hmm. i think they just care about the basics cooking mm -hmm. cleaning submissive mm -hmm. and if becky mailing and the rest of them isabella okay if, i think i know it is if they're mm -hmm. submissive they cooperate they're peaceful mm -hmm. it's not about being a slave mm -hmm. why would a black man stay with women or a group of women mm -hmm. i'll say this let me just say this man <laughs> i think that men personally black men let me say let me particularly black men i don't think a black man should look at the color first i think he should look at the quality mm -hmm. the character is she peaceful feminine submissive inspirational mm -hmm. if she's that kind of woman i think you should look at the color last mm -hmm. okay see so, i i, I <laughs> kind of say i think that it's different with men and women mm -hmm. so i think what you were trying to say correct me if i'm wrong is that men some men look at the color yes but mm -hmm. i think a all rounder men look at like you said if the woman's submissive if she's kind peaceful cooks feminine, cleans, feminine yeah. and all the rest right where i would say women will into will date they interracially look, yeah. we all date, just we all look at things different more based on their a different color other than yeah um what that man how that man treats you or how that man can help you or provide for you and so women look at else. the for example the four p's obviously she has to be attracted to the guy i get all of that i think men primarily black or white no matter the color of the guy feminine submissive mm -hmm. peaceful pleasure to be around inspirational i think all men look for that see for me i'm just i'm down with the brothers i'm sorry okay that's just that's what it's for me yeah, fine. um mm. i'm not ever gonna be swinging swirling whatever mm -hmm. i'm gonna call it that's not gonna happen yeah. ever in my life and that's fine um i just think what a lot of black women's problem is is that you're a bad apple picker you just choose wrong I, men i hear you and i agree with that to some degree mm -hmm. it's not just about them choosing the wrong men mm -hmm. because when they do get the right man mm -hmm. they're still masculine and in competition yes with that guy so mm -hmm. a lot of look if you look at dating sites you're the least wanted yes on the market some may disagree but facts is facts data shows i'm not that. gonna even bring up no data it is what it is mm -hmm. you know that when it comes to sexual market value mm -hmm. I would say, in my opinion, the black man's the second. White man's first, black man's the second. Mm -hmm. When it comes to women, you are the last. Yeah. Because you believe competing with your men, being masculine, being combative, you think it's cute. No, it's not. This is why men are wake, walking away. Mm -hmm. We're insane. I don't know if you're say. I don't know if you add anything more. We've got to play the next clip and it's going to segue me into one of the points. But say your point, we'll close out. Um... <clears throat> I would just say this like i said i think a lot mm. of women are just bad apple pickers 
mm. and they <clears> should <throat> choose better. And like you said, some women will get that a good guy that mm-hmm. you put in a friend zone. Um, but then he, okay, say you didn't put him in a friend zone mm-hmm. and he's a good guy. You treat him poorly. So, so then, then, so then it you're the problem. It doesn't, it doesn't just come down to apple picking. No, but I'm saying that's a part of it mm-hmm. is that you just choose poorly. Okay. But at the same time, it's also how you treat the guy. So if you've got a good guy, mm-hmm. you treat him poorly and then Fair he doesn't want to stay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, it is what it is. But for some, the answer is interracial dating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that the answer? Is that the answer? I wouldn't I don't say know. that, but okay. it could be. It could be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying to you, go for another chick. I'm just saying it's the conversation. Mm-hmm. These are things we need to talk about. Mm-hmm. And when we get the conversation started, then we can move forward in in helping the people. Yeah. It's entertainment too. But in saying that, I'm going to play clip number two. Okay, who about further delay? Here's clip number two. Yeah. I appreciate it. What's your name? Kiwi. Kiwi. Oh, where, where you from? Atlanta. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Man, right, I just so happen to. Where you live there? Yeah. I just thought you was cute. I appreciate the roles, man. <laughs> yeah, how, how can I get in contact with you like right, after this right here? What you mean? Like, now your number, your Instagram, something. Yeah, you got your phone. Huh? You got your phone. Of course. When you going back home? Okay, what do you want to add? Um, she will possibly be called. You know what? Well, pick me. Yeah. That depends. Possibly. That depends. That depends. I think a lot of women <laughs> have a big issue with shooting their shot with men. Why? Why do women not shoot their shot with men? Afraid to. Is they afraid, afraid of rejection, rejection. and just yeah. fear. Exactly. Now you understand what men have to go through all the time. Well, women so when don't care. women are quick to be like, <laughs> move. Like, who are you? Don't chat to me in all this attitude. Um, that's <clears throat> how it feels <laughs> to be rejected. But mm-hmm. I'm going to say this also. I think, okay, first of all, good on, good on her. She mm-hmm. saw what she liked and she's shooting her shot. Mm. And I think more women should do that. If you see something you like, shoot your shot because you don't know. That. You don't know when you'll possibly see mm-hmm. a guy like this ever again in your life, and you didn't take up that opportunity to talk to that guy. That guy, okay. A lot of women like to say, "Oh, I haven't found the right person yet, the right guy yet. I haven't found my soulmate. I haven't found blah blah blah." But you may have walked past your soulmate a hundred times, and they more realize. Like you said earlier, a lot of women have their soulmate in the friend zone. Yeah. But I think based on the current situation of the dating scene, Mm -hmm. men are kind of getting fed up. They have. So I think women kind of need to shoot their shot Mm -hmm. because the times, let's say for example, I'm I'm up in a club or whatever, right? And I'm chatting to a chick and we're getting on well. I've approached her. We're talking. We're cool. And then you call her the next day playing games yeah or or she's giving me the look i approach attitude try to embarrass me attitude girl you were just <laughs> looking at me you gave me mm-hmm. the choosing signals men don't know if they're coming or going in that sense and then if you do take the number mm-hmm. what are you up to nm not much now when a woman approaches a man's thinking, well, you hollered at me. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing to lose. And I think more women need to look at, okay, I'm interested in this guy. Mm-hmm. Let me shoot my shot. Let me make it be known. I'm going to stand out. I know any smart woman knows any man she's moves to. If he's a certain kind of guy, right? And if you find him attractive, other women find him attractive too. Yeah. You have to stand out. Now I've asked chicks. Do you compete for the men you say you want? 
Compete for who? With that mentality, you're not getting the outcomes that you want. Now, the millennials are turning 40 this year. They're realizing, oh, 40 year old them is not 20 year old them, i.e. You're not getting the same outcomes or you can't come on the same kind of men mm -hmm. that you could 20 years ago. You should have hopped off the CC carousel wheel a good 15 years ago, but they chose to stay on a little, a little longer. Mm -hmm. Hold on a little longer. But has it worked out in your no, favor? It hasn't. Why? So women need to approach. Because <laughs> why do women all the time look, stop waiting for a man to come and find you a lot of women say the same saying of oh my husband will find me mm. or my man will find me my soulmate yeah. will find me in what universe mm. in what universe does that happen in some cases the man hollers at the woman they get married live happily ever after but mm. in a lot of cases that doesn't happen sometimes you have to go out there with intentions of finding the guy you like mm. And saying, look, I like you, blah, blah, blah. Just like the girl did. She broke the ice by giving him a rose. Yeah. She broke the ice. He's like, thanks. I bet you no woman has ever done that to him before. Of giving him a rose mm -hmm. and probably approached him in that way. I think if a woman doesn't come across too desperate, mm -hmm. by her doing that off the rip, she's showing effort. And she stands out from the rest. Yeah, because you're going to yes. remember her. Exactly. Especially if she's feminine, peaceful, pleasure to be around. And we talk, we have conversations and she's inspirational. Yeah. And the thing is also, mm. women will say, like I said, oh, I'm waiting for the man to find me. And it's like. Manifestation. Like, <laughs> girl, you said that like 15 years ago and you're still single. But well, they're still so linking my getting their belly dig out. Why? The what's the what's the saying? The in between the guy, the buffer guy, the, the buffer transition guys, guy, the transition guys. You're getting yeah. your back blown out by them, right? Yeah. Okay. But you've been single for a good fifteen years, still waiting for but your husband you, you to come along. Do you know the problem in that is this: women view sex different to men. They think based on, because these guys that are in my DMs and dating insights or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Because they want to smash, they want to be with me. No. But they learn that harsh reality later on when they're 40 or they're older let me say so they think man wants to smash mm -hmm. but a woman's thinking because he wants to smash he wants to be with me no i thought, I thought women would have figured that out in their teenage years men uh, want to smash yes uh, but why just because a man wants to smash why would he want to be with you but that's what i'm saying women who said lot, that that's the case a lot of women the men that they say they want or men in general mm -hmm. they don't understand men but men for me to even smash, I have to understand women. Mm -hmm. See, that's why men will always have the edge. Because I have to, un I have to even, to even to be a basic guy, I have to understand women. But women don't have to understand men because society's made it so. Because mm -hmm. they can just turn on their phone, look at their DMs, and guys want to smash. Yeah. So they don't need to understand men. No. <laughs> Put in the comments if you disagree and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe now let me ask you a question are women today lazy daters because i think that plays a role too uh-huh so i've heard mm. from guys that um women are boring um, lazy they're lazy they don't um what's the word they don't there's no offer. Oomph. There's no yes. There's, there's no, no effort. Oomph. There's no That's it. how they say. No Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> <laughs> the word I was looking for was effort. There's mm. zero effort. Va va boom. <laughs> there's none of that. They don't put any effort into like mm. choosing where to go on the date or anything at all. There's just zero mm. effort. They just it's just all um what's the word I'm looking for again now? It's one sided. Entitled selfish. and. Yeah. and everything's about me 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 you should be glad to even be sitting in my presence yeah they think because i'm a woman my presence and me just being here is good enough but, so then the man is yeah but it, with that mentality i think okay women don't even know how to flirt they don't even know how to flirt with men nowadays they don't even know how to you know accentuate their neck and give choosing signals they just think i'm a woman i showed up 
but mm -hmm. you're That's only getting enough. guys that want to smash. Mm -hmm. Oh, but because he wants to smash, he wants to be with me. This is That's why the mentality. I've said in many podcasts prior. Mm -hmm. Look, the man. <laughs> Just stop it, ladies. <laughs> Just stop it. What does your history tell you? When you go back and rewind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in your catalog. Let's of... rewind. <laughs> in your catalog of your dating history, mm -hmm. your past relationships, right? Your situationships, right? Tell me which one has worked out for you. Oh, another failed talking stage. Oh, 10 year hot girl summer. I'm in. It's the 11th year. <laughs> You shouldn't be having a <laughs> failed talking stage, like really. But go back in your track record, your history, open up the dirty closet or whatever you want to call it, right? Open Skeletons. it up and see and look for yourself. Has mm. my dating track record, whatever, mm -hmm. has it benefited me in so any basically, way? Basically, are you getting outcomes that, that you want? Yeah. The answer is no, because if you're yeah. still single and you're a certain age and you only can hold six six months relationships, a year relationships, maybe even two year relationships, that's not good. That's not good. I can, I'm happy to be single. I can get a relationship if I want to. No, you can't get a relationship when you want to because men yeah. played that part. It, you, why, why are you asking for the man to wife for you then? Women want relationships men want to smash yes but men have to give the opportunity for you to have a relationship with them what do you think they're the ish I'm, I'm just saying okay you can think that that's fine but mm. are you getting the outcomes that you want it's always gonna they be can cash no. out if they want to you can't cash out oh, when no, you want to cash out. no so let's switch gears a little bit what about women proposing mm -hmm. <laughs> to men People put in the comments, where are you at with that? If females, are you going to propose to your significant other? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a masculine thing? Should you just leave that to the men? Is it the new culture, women proposing to men nowadays? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Mm, I'm kind of in two minds with that. Yeah. Would I do it? I think I would do it. But well, doesn't that make you weak? Doesn't that make it like, nah. I wouldn't say it will make me weak, no. Mm -hmm. But I am sort of on the traditional side of things as well of the mm -hmm. man proposing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't maybe ever rule it out. I haven't done it, but I'm saying, mm -hmm. would I do it? Maybe, possibly. But on the flip side, you know, I would, traditionally men are the ones that propose. So... I would personally, I would kind of leave it to the man so to do. Maybe. But I thought about <laughs> so it. So you don't find it masculine if mm. a woman well, okay. proposed. Bending on one knee, proposing, mm, I guess. Should it be left to the men? Because I don't think a man would take you seriously. Some would, don't get me wrong. I don't want to uh -huh. put words in anyone's mouth. But I don't think a man would generally take a woman seriously if she proposed to him because you are now it's almost in a sense a power struggle. So you're saying... I'm the man now, you're the woman. And mm. sometimes women obligate men into that. And at the time, he doesn't want to embarrass you if you do it in public anyway. Mm. And he don't want, he's going to say yes to you. But then it's like, nah, man, I'm not really feeling that. Because men are generally traditional for the most part. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a no-no. I think the guy mm -hmm. should um, propose. Maybe I'm wrong. But in my opinion, for me, for mm -hmm. me, I don't want to get... The, I don't know... One of them chicks in the comments try to make a video about, oh, <laughs> yada, yada, yada. But in my opinion, I'm not I, saying it's wrong if a woman does it. I can't say I would do I have definitely thought about it, yes. Um, mm. Can I say I would do it? I don't know if I would do it because I'm more on the, for the mm. man to do it, to be honest with you. I know. But yeah, if I've thought about it before, um, <laughs> <laughs> I have thought yeah. about many things. Yeah. But um, when you said about, the power struggle i didn't look at it in that way i know i didn't look at it in that way so then i'm leading more to the man doing it yeah <laughs> so like we said before it's a conversation yeah you know 
you may bring up some things put in the comments what you think as well yeah. some things that may be said i didn't look at or i didn't even think of mm -hmm. and may sway my decision mm -hmm. not really because i i kind of think the man should do it but mm -hmm. <laughs> you know we never know yeah, it's we true. never know anyways in that said um <laughs> My last thing is this, man. Ladies, if you see a guy that catches your eye, kind of like oh, blind date, mm -hmm. still a black, right? <laughs> so then, are you approaching? Are you going to be too shy? Is there fear? I don't know what you're going to do. In my opinion, I'll say, look, women need to make some more effort. Mm -hmm. They need to come off this whole feminism and he's got to approach me. I'm the ish. I'm entitled. I'm a woman. Show up. I say women need to make effort. So... What's that thing? Shorty, can you swing my way? Okay. So, Shout I think, it good yeah, to me. I hey. think hey, I had that song if wrong. a woman sees a guy and that's her thoughts, like mm -hmm. the song, approach him, man. Don't Maybe. be desperate. Don't be desperate. Come on, can you say your point? I was going to say that would be quite a funny breaking mm. the ice moment. So, imagine, ladies, imagine, right? Those yeah. that know the song anyway. <laughs> imagine mm. walking up to a man and just busting out with, you know, Mm -hmm. Shardy, three. He may laugh if he's of that era. Even he knows that song. Even if it's cheesy, corny. It may be cheesy. It still broke the ice. It broke the ice. He yeah. may laugh and be like, "You're a joker or whatever," but yeah, not in the sense of "You're a joker," as in "You're a fool." Yeah, joker. <laughs> yeah. In the sense of like that was funny. Yeah. It was humorous or whatever. And then bring it back down to being subtle. Obviously, you don't want to yeah. look desperate. Yeah. So, yeah, it but, makes sense. That makes sense, man. <laughs> but I'll say, ladies, are you are you choosing? Are you going to um, give the choosing signals, then approach? Let us know where you at. Fellas, if a woman approaches you, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's, as long as she don't be desperate. I think I'm going to ask with men. As long as she's not desperate mm -hmm. and she does it nice and subtle or whatever, mm -hmm. I think it's all right, man. Ladies, drop something on the floor yeah. right next to him. Pick, say, oh, or oh, say you're in a store and you're reaching me. for something. Yeah, exactly. Can, can I, I, need know, I need a strong, tall man to, you know. Yeah. Then I do want to shop like me? Superman, <laughs> cape on. Like, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. That's my thought on it, man. Um, I don't know if you want to add anything more before we close out. Ladies, go and get what you want. Stop waiting. Mm. You're wasting mm. time. Stop wasting time. Go and get it. If you see a man you want, go and get him. Yes. Like we said, don't be acting all desperate, but go and get him. There's Approach him. Talk to him. Yeah. You know, tell him, I like you like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And... You know, hopefully you will get what you want. Give it a try. Yeah. I'll say that because if your past hasn't been working for you and you need to make some form of a change to help, mm -hmm. you know, you know, mm -hmm. just try. That's all I it say. It is what it is. <laughs> In that being said, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>